Hello and welcome to today's video. This will be a the first um, part of a mini part series of how to paint your uh, Resident Evil, the board game by Steamforge Games. Um, the minis in there. And we shall be starting off with the hero himself, Chris Redfield. So the first thing we need to do is remove any and all mold lines and then give the mini a wash. Okay, so with that, the uh, I've given him a wash. The reason we do that is um, when they're cast in the molds, they put in a release agent and um, that tends to make paint just come right off them. So it's always worth giving them a quick wash. Um, just a bit of warm water and uh, washing up liquid should do the trick. An old toothbrush, just give it a scrub and then happy days. He should be nice and washed. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, well, what I'm going to do is uh, get a bit of army painter. And this is the beige colour. And we're just going to undercoat it. Okay, and there he is all undercoated. So, um, base colours that I'm going to use for for this mini. I'm going to start off probably with um, Bastilicum uh, Grey from Citadel Games Workshop. And I'll paint all the lower half of him, like the trousers in this, including the, the boots and the uh, knee pads and any garn holsters and stuff. Um, and then I'll do the his vest. Uh, Uruk Flesh, another great uh, Citadel colour. Uh, I will do his knife holster, his holder, the uh, Doom Ball Brown as a base. His um, his belts on that is holding um, around his waist and holding his uh, his knife holster. I will do in Rhinox Hide. His flesh, I will start off with uh, Kelly and Flesh Tone. And his um, his uh, uh, under vest, so his uh, his t shirt is underneath his main vest. I'm going to do grace here, and then all his, uh, his like his gloves and his knee pads, and his gun holster and his pouches. I'm all going to do in contrast black legion, and then the the badge on his um, on his shoulder. I'm going to start off by painting in. Cantor blue because if you can see you can actually get quite a bit of detail it's got the stars on there indented so I will try my best to get them so I will start off with uh, the base colors so let's get stick them gray open and I'll start by doing all the trousers Okay, right. I'm gonna slap it on there. This is the first coat. Try not to get it on the uh, where the greens go and go, but on the lower half, you can literally just slap it on and not be too careful about covering anything else because it will the black uh, black legion has very good coverage so it will it will look good after this coat so we'll be back I'll get that finished and we'll be back okay and as you can see it's still drying now so next up I will grab Uruk flesh and I'm gonna do his um, basically his vest Get the green in on that, so give the sh make it a good shake. <clears throat> now I'm using a wet palette here, and this wet palette is from uh, Army Painter. You can get it on Amazon. A little bit of water to thin it out, and then 
start putting it down. I think I might wash this afterwards. Put a wash down on it, like a non-oil wash, just to darken it up a bit before I start the highlight phase. But as you can see, that's going down all right. I'll finish getting that painted in and we'll be back. Okay, so next up we've got Grey Seer. So I'm just going to use this on the on Chris's shoulders. Put a little bit on my brush, a bit of water. Again, you want to thin it down. You don't want it straight from the pot because otherwise it'd be too clumpy. So I usually thin it down with a bit of water. Um, if you've got if you've got other paint thinners, that's fine too. Um, but yeah, always handy to uh, thin it down slightly. Just want to get that what that grey seer down on the shoulders like that, and then the other one. I mean, you could leave this step because if you undercoated it the same as me, it will probably be all right with the base uh, color and some washes on it. But we'll see. All right, so that's that's that step done. Next, what we'll do is, I think we'll go in and do maybe another coat on the trousers uh, with the bestilicum uh, grey, just to darken them up slightly more. Let's give that a go, shall we? Pot a good shake. Let's see how this. I haven't painted one of these yet, so we're sort of. I'm sort of going. You, you can follow along with me. This is a more of a just trial and error, really, to see what turns out nice. But. Uh, I'll just do another coat here and we'll be back. Okay, that's another coat on the trousers. So whilst that drying, what I'm going to do is, I don't know if it translates well on the video, but the vest is a little bit bright for my liking. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take Biltan Green. It's a shade colour, so it's like a wash. I'm going to wash it over the, um, over the vest to see if that darkens it down. Like I said, I've not done this already. I'm sort of trialing air on it see if you guys like it right let's see what we got that's a slightly better green actually that's a bit better just brings it down slightly because it just looks a little bit too bright we'll be back after that dries to see what it looks like right so i quite like how that's turned out with the built tan green it's quite nice with the shading quite happy with that so next we're going to do the flesh so his uh, his arms his fingers it's his face let's pop that open this is caddy and flesh tone by games workshop citadel brush and again we want to thin it down with a bit of water Trying to be as neat as possible here. Trying to go over what we've already done. Not so bothered about the gloves because they will be painted in black. And the black paint, black contrast, black legion is really good for good coverage, even with one coat. So I'll finish that stage and I'll be back. As you can see, that's um, the flesh tone done. It's still drying, but because it's not going to touch, I'm going to do the badge. So just using Cantor Blue. And there's a bit of water. It's going to be quite quick and easy to do this bit. Watery than I would have hoped. Yeah. 
So, this is bash done. So, once that's dried, we'll come back and do some dark brown on the belt around his green um, vest. Okay, so for this bit, we're doing this bit around his waist and then this bit here as well. We want to get that with Rhinox Hide. Nice dark brown. So again, a bit on the brush, tiny bit of water. And we'll go in and do it. Again, you've got to be very careful here. Not to get any on your green. We don't want to be going back over that and patching it. You see? So I'll be back once that's done. And that's the Rhinox hide done. Uh, the next bit we're going to do is Doom Ball Brown. And that is, if you can see, the sheath for his knight, his dagger in his... Yeah, on his, uh, on his person. I'm going to do that with Doom Ball Brown. Let's see how we do. Get a little bit of tiny bit of water. Just to thin it out a bit. This is a bit fiddly. Now it's not the end of the world if it goes on the dark brown, but try and keep it off the green if possible. Because the dark green can be the dark brown can be more easily corrected. I'm happy with that. There you go. Nice easy step that one. <clears throat> okay, so next up we've got Black Legion. So what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna do his his boots, his uh knee pads, his side uh, his uh pouches on his hip, his gun holster, the handle of his knife. His gloves, his gun, and his hair. So, always give contrast a shake. I've already previously shaken this one, and we'll go straight in. So, we'll get his. You might want to use a more finer brush for these fine details, but I digress. And yeah, this may need two coats. We'll see how one coat comes out. We'll be back once I've done all that. Alright, and as you can see, that's the black done now. So what I'm going to do next is almost to a point where I'd be happy to um, put it on the board. Um, but before that point, I want to do a couple more things. So I've got non-oil, just to shade non-oil, sorry, just to shade the badge. And right clean fresh shade for the skin. So I uh, also use the right clean fresh shade for the um, uh, the, the knife uh, holster. So let's do the black on the brush and just get it on there. What I might actually do put a bit on my wet palette and just water it down slightly. I might put it all over the sleeves of the the um, t-shirt underneath just to get a little bit more definition in that. I want a bit more water on it because it's don't want it too dark. I just want a bit of a bit of shade in the recesses. There we go. Some of that off my thumb. Just, just dry your, you can just dry your brush off a bit, then suck up some of the water with it. There you go. I'm quite happy with that. And then I'll do the same for the other side. Just 
Like so. And that just gives it a little bit more definition. Like that. Right. So next up, let me wash my brush and then I'll do the flesh. I'll probably just slap this straight on without thinning it down. Let's see how it goes. Let's have a look. Um, also for his hair, I wasn't sure in, in pictures I looked at, I wasn't sure if it was really dark brown or black. So I just went with black. Just because I think it was easier. So again, this will just pick out some definition on his flesh. And then I'll also do his knife. And we'll be back once that's dry, so you can see what the tabletop finished product more or less looks like. Okay, so next up we want to, or what I want to do next, is put a little white down on his badge. So a little surround where it says, where the name Stars is. So I'll give that a go, see if that works. Get a little bit on my brush, got to use a fine brush for this. Let's see if I can get most of your paint off for this bit. Might be a bit tricky. And then, once it gets the yellow paint, just colouring those stars. Okay, let's do this. Might be better if it's watery actually, because then I could just drop it into the holes. Might just need a bit of a tidy up afterwards. To bring back some more of the blue. But I'm quite happy with that. Very fiddly. I mean, you don't have to do this. This isn't a, a bit you have to worry too much about, but. I have it. So. If you wanted to leave it there, that would be quite tabletop ready, I would say. Um, all tennis ready, you can go a few steps more and come in and do some highlighting. And that's what I'm going to do, I think. I'm going to highlight the skin, the uh, trousers and the vest and a few other bits and pieces. We'll be back in a sec. Okay, next I've done a 50-50... A mix of Eschen Grey and a Mistartum Grey, and this is just to highlight the trousers. We want to keep this, most of those dark areas still dark, but we want to just catch the highest areas. Remember, this game takes place at night, so you don't want too much light on them. Right. I'll finish that and we'll see the end result. That's the trousers highlighted one stage and now I've just gone straight in with uh got my brush the administratum grey and I'll go straight in for a highlight on those trousers. Let's see how that turns out. And you want to pick up the very highest points.
to the back. Happy with that. So trousers done. So next we'll get on go on to his uh go on to his um vest. So I will get Uruk flesh for this. I'll slap this straight on. Just the highlight. I don't want it too much highlighted because I quite like the, the look of it, so as is. So I'll just do the absolute sharpest edges with this. This has got a sort of a yellowy tint to it as well, so it gives gives it a nice sort of unnatural light highlight, like it's candle lit or you know old lights. I don't really know what these words I am that I'm saying when I'm doing this, but quite happy with that. Next, I'll go on to doing his skin, I think. Okay, so we're back to uh, Caddy and Flesh Tone. And again, this is just a matter of getting the highest points. Like so. Don't want too much highlights, but we'll get just the bits that we think will catch the most light. And that's the upper side. Like that. The next, what we're going to do. Let's get Kiss Left Fresh and do a further highlight. This is just the most top edges. The bridge of his nose, his muscles, Chris's mega muscles that he doesn't grow until Resident Evil 5 and 6. I'll finish that and we'll be back. Now we want to switch back to our Grace here and just do his uh, sleeves. So a couple more highlights we need to do um, for his weapon. Uh, I'm just going to highlight with like a silver. And then we want to highlight the black with a Dark Reaper blue. So I'll be back to do that. So next up we've got Dark Reaper. And as I said, this is for um, his uh, 
flat parts are like his his shoulder pad his knee pads his boots and his gloves you don't have to go too mad with the highlights here bit on his belt as well which is where the light would catch the most So, probably do his hair as well a little bit. Just get a highlight of his hair. Not even sure what colour his hair's meant to be, but in photos I've looked at, it does look to be black, or at least very dark brown. So I went with black. But again, I'm not too bothered about too much highlights on this bit because. There we go. And then just a little bit of a highlight on his hair. At the very top. And then we'll come in with a, a silver esque colour. So we've got their Beltra. And with this colour I will do just a quick highlight, edge highlight of his his gun. To give it that metallic look. Let's go too mad. I'm not trying to win any competitions here. And I might just do his uh, dagger as well. And he's got a uh, he's got a watch on, so let's do Give that little bit of silver highlight. There you go. And if like, like me, I'm rubbish at doing eyes. I'd be happy leaving it there. Personally, I'd be happy leaving it without the highlights. But yeah, let's see if I can get some decent dots in on his eyes. We'll be back so another highlight i forgot to mention scrag brown on the um on the knife holster holder like that. just a very top that's him with his eyes painted in i just got to do the little black dots which i am not very good at but i'll give it a go and we'll be back and there you have it chris redfield with his eyes sort of dotted in. Again, I'm not the greatest at that. Uh, another thing you might be able to do, actually, um, if you want to, take another uh, another step for the um, highlighting of the black armour is through and grey. So that might be a good place to finish it. Uh, and this would literally be the absolute tip of the iceberg. Of the uh, very very tip, hardly any at all in your brush, just teeny tiny bit like that. Just this light just bouncing off the surface. That's it. Then I'll do the same with his boot, just a rounded bit. Let's go too mad. His holster. That straight bit there. Belt, just that bit, and maybe the buckle. The buckle. And his gloves right at the top. His gloves. And then just his hair. And that is Chris Red Chris Redfield. I'm pretty happy with him. The eyes something to be desired but the rest of him i'm quite happy with so if you like this video um please like and like and subscribe i'll um probably just paint the base i don't know 
white or something. And then might be over bad guys red, but I might do a video in the future on how to do basing, but or how I do basing. Um, there you have him. Finished to a point I quite like. I think he's turned out awesome. And he looks great. So yeah, if you enjoyed uh, this video, it wasn't so much a tutorial as a let's just paint Chris Redfield. So yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Oh, I also have a PayPal, so if you wanted to donate to the channel to help me improve, maybe get better lighting for videos such as this. I also do battle reports, and if you're interested in doing um, it, watching maybe a playthrough of the Resident Evil game, let me know in the comments. But yeah, any donations would be very, very welcome, and I'll link that in the description. So yeah, thanks again, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.